How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Wrapped Out Reviews. And if this is your first time around, welcome to Wrapped Out Reviews. I'm John. This is an 18 and older channel for cannabis patients, cannabis enthusiasts, for all things cannabis. This will be your channel for it. And in today's episode, guys, we have the product review with the Focus V Carta. I'm about super close to about 500 dabs with the unit. So I think it's about time uh, <laughs> I'm done with my testing and I show it to you guys. And a quick shout out to Everything Cannabis TV. Big shout out to you, homie. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. If anyone's into cannabis content, please go over to his channel. Check it out. He's probably somewhere in the comment section below. He's got some fire over there in Colorado, man. And I'm always looking for this kind of content. So if you're into it, definitely go check out Everything Cannabis TV. And all right, guys, I ain't going to do too much talking. Focus V Carta. It'll come in this box. Granted, my Carta isn't in the box. I just wanted to show you guys. It'll be as transparent as possible. It'll come in this really sleek box and when you pop it open right from the front you'll have all of your instructions your warranty definitely don't want to lose anything that comes up top there and uh inside of here would be your carta mine isn't in there right now just because i'm using it all the time i haven't traveled within a couple days so there's no reason to really have it in here but your carta would be in here. Let's pretend I'm taking mine out. <laughs> your carta would be in here and it'll come just like this, minus the water, obviously. Regular carb cap, your Everlast Addy, the unit itself, uh, two 18, 350 batteries, the, uh, the tether and the bumper will all be inside. You also have, Four Focus V Q tips. These are just glob mops, but they're designed pretty much the exact same way. Pointed tip on one end, regular Q tip on the other. You'll get a Focus V dab tool, which has quickly become one of my favorite dab tools to use. You'll also receive a wax container. I don't think anyone uses these. It's cool to have in there though, for sure. Uh, in my state, you're not even allowed to travel with your stuff in a different container. So you'll have that. And then what pretty much always stays in here is alcohol wipes in case things get a little too messy. You never know when you could use these. And you'll see the stitching here. Nice little Focus V on there. This is where you'll house the unit and your little compartment slots here with everything in it and then it'll be your package now the unit itself uh the focus v carta is a e-rig and it is basically meant for dabbing it does have flower capability there is a uh, a flower atomizer but mostly i use the rig for dabbing and it's a portable e-rig Bluetooth connectivity, and plenty of reasons why <clears throat> I picked this one up, <coughs> excuse me, over all the options on the market, but uh, price point being a big one, if you click on this video, I'm sure that you're dying to know like, hey, is this one the one I should grab? And um, if you have the money for it, I don't see this being a bad option. I'm gonna explain all that to you now. And one more thing, I forgot about the packaging. You will also receive two quartz buckets. The uh, the atomizer itself comes with a titanium bucket in it already, and you'll receive an extra titanium bucket. So in the package, that's four buckets you receive. In case you mess one up, lose one, anything like that, or you just have a preference, go whatever bucket you feel like. But uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get all into this pros cons etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So stick around. This is gonna be the Focus V product review. All right, guys. So right out the box, the uh, <clears throat> the Focus V Carta is a USB C charged powered by uh, 18 350 batteries. It also has pass-through charging, meaning if your device is dead and you are close enough to a 
wall or have a battery pack and have a wire with you you're able to dab through it while it's charging and um right off the box there's four preset temperatures and that's where one of the cons comes in right away for me with the focus v carta it is very different compared to a lot of other e-rigs on the market i have a uh, vista x vape mini 2 and there's preset temperatures on there but the way these jump is crazy so the very first temperature is going to be a 500 degrees so it is a one two three four five to turn on the unit and also the battery life is determined you've seen how all four uh white lights flashed i just charged this so it has full 100 percent battery but as you bring it down it'll go down by 25 percent obviously three lights 75 percent two lights 50 percent one light 25 you should probably get to charging around that time but right out the box the preset temperatures range so differently i never used mine past the second setting and even the second setting to me was hot but the first setting was too low so the first temperature right out the box is going to be 500 degrees fahrenheit 260 celsius most people i feel like dab in that range that's just depending on what i'm dabbing that's just a little bit too low for me and then you jump right over to the second preheat and that is a uh, 630 fahrenheit 332 celsius and that's usually the range i was in because 500 was too low but then 630 ends up being a little too hot unfortunately and uh this device really 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 shines for people who are like hot boy dabbers because the next two presets are places i've never been with uh this unit and that's 770 fahrenheit 410 celsius for the third preset and the fourth preset 842 degrees fahrenheit 450 celsius um yeah that is crazy hot for me I'll, I'll never dab at those temperatures is not something I'm, I'm completely interested in but if you do dab at those temperatures this unit will allow you to go up to those temperatures and um where it shines really is going to be the bluetooth connectivity so there is an app but i will say off the rip the app isn't the best app ever so i'll show it to you now it's a web browser app obviously because of apple and vaporizers and things of that nature so there will be your app right there now you see it's just press to connect all right gang sorry for the blooper there uh back to the carta app so it is a web browser app and right now i have the background is purple you can change it if you just hit the carta button yellow Let's see if i can see this changing yellow green blue red red is my favorite color so i'll have it at red you press to connect your device should pop up done once you got it all in there i'm 488 dabs in zero uh flower hits i do not have a flower atomizer so i have not actually used this device for flower there's five presets which i believe i have a preset locked in for every single one and then as you can see there there's your temperature now you can go as low as 330 degrees and start your temper and start your uh session at 25 seconds now you can bump that all the way up to the 800s closer to 900 and you can bump that session timer up all the way up to closer to two minutes that's that's what makes this a quote-unquote smart rig and uh one of the one of the better price ones the app isn't going to give you total control because it isn't down to the degree now down to the degree is going to go to things to like the puffco peak pro that's going to give you complete app control down to the degree the, the difference between the two is that this is half the price. So, for example, I'm at 330 now. If I jump one temperature up, I'm at 338. Jump again, I'm at 356, 374. You see, I'm in, I'm in weird spots. I can't, I don't have total control, but I mean, like, 410, 428, 446, 460. I mean, there's a ton, a ton of options. To you to, for you to dial in something that you that you're like that you'll like uh, eventually for sure but you're able to set your uh timer and your uh your temperature and then you just hit start and
and your uh, your device will shine all four lights, good to go, and you'll start your session there. If you wanted to just use it regularly, you would just click it one time and it'll start to heat up. If you don't want that temperature and you want to switch to a different preset, you just hit the button again and it'll switch you over to a different preset. But primarily for me, I'm mainly using the app when I use the device. It's so much more control. The, uh, the dab for presets, I believe are set to about 45 seconds. That includes heat up time. But this thing heats up extremely quick. I mean, like seconds, like less than 10 seconds. I'm usually heated up and good to go with this thing. Because it, unlike other devices, so this is going to be compared more than anything to a Puffco Peak Pro. And the difference between this and a Puffco Peak Pro is that this one is going to, this one isn't going to have the temperature, the temperature uh, reader that the Puffco Peak Pro has. So like that'll be able to keep you at the exact temperature that you want down to the degree that you're able to watch in your app. Like you're able to completely see your temperature go. This unit, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe throws volts at the atomizer and then those that voltage that it sends will set your temperature to where it's supposed to be. The only issue with that is that when you're going for like back to back to back dabs is that you'll never have the quote unquote proper temperature because it's not reading the actual temperature. This atomizer is not reading the actual temperature of the unit it's reading it's just throwing voltage to where it needs to be to hit a certain temperature so back to back to back dabs on this isn't going to be your friend unfortunately also when you have an atomizer heated up for a very long time things just start to break so i don't recommend anything like that but if you're looking for an e-rig let me just let me just let you know now if you're not into high maintenance don't even bother with e-rigs just just leave them alone any e-rig for that matter like they're they're much more high maintenance than most other devices you can have but they're so convenient so easy to use so efficient there's so many reasons why i love this device now the cloudiness on my glass i literally just cleaned this with hot water and the temperature difference from the cold basement and the hot water is causing this to fog up this is a complete this is a completely clean device right now. And um, pros is going to be the upgrades for the Carta. The upgrades for the Carta is going to, I mean, there's so many things you can do. So I showed you that there's quartz buckets, titanium buckets. Of course, you know, people make third party accessories. There's sick buckets, uh, which is like a, which is like a silicone kind of bucket, like a silicone ceramic deal. Um, ruby inserts, just all ruby. There's extra large quartz inserts. There's a bunch of different inserts you can buy to have this give you a completely different hit, function a little better. All sorts of things you can buy for the atomizer. Me personally, I've made two adjustments to help with uh, with my experience. So I don't run the car, the car to stock, but uh, I'll show you exactly what those are now. When you originally buy your unit, it's gonna come with this carb cap here. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this carb cap because there isn't. But when I'm dabbing in my quartz now, I have a spinner cap, which helps my airflow go in multiple directions, get my oil moving. So I decided get something like that for my car. This is a bubble cap from uh, MrBunzai.net. Anyone with a uh, Carta, a Candy Panora, I believe, or a Core, um, Puffco Peaks, he makes accessories for all those. I really dig this uh, this carb cap, so this is the one I use. Gives me a chance to move the airflow wherever I'd like it in the Addy. And I also grabbed a uh, Turp Pro. This is a very, very small three millimeter Turp Pro to increase the uh, the surface area inside the banger. And it's really small in here inside the atomizer. It's really small in here anyway. So it just helps increase the surface area. And that changed the stock model for me and made my hits completely better. Also, 
the Carta, since it runs off of two 18350s, another great, great improvement I did was uh, go out the way and buy extra batteries, an extra set of 18350 batteries, as well as a external charger. So instead of having to uh, plug my base in every time, which degrades the base eventually, I've had stories of people putting in the uh, the charger and messing up the, the port where they're supposed to charge their stuff at. I can just charge my batteries in the, uh, in the charger as well as any other batteries you might have in the house that are rechargeable. This is like a universal charger. So this will charge these batteries and I'm able to just swap them out. So I've, I've never had an issue where I wanted to take a dab and I'm like, oh, my thing's dead out. I can always just swap the batteries. It's never an issue. So yeah, that is, that's the upgrades that I made to my Carta. Gave it extra life with just the batteries, keeping the uh, the base in better shape overall um, down the line. Bubble cap to help the airflow directionally. Little Turp Pro, grab a little more surface area because the main problem that you're going to have with a lot of the E-Rigs, unless you're running a uh, 3D chamber, which the Puffco Peak Pro has right now, and they are making a 2. I'm dropping the OG review because the 2 is literally weeks away from releasing and i still think this is a very viable option i think the two is going to be in the 350 400 range so this unit right now on their website is running for 200 dollars. 200 dollars for it stock out the box the buckets and everything functional i mean if you have 200 dollars to spare and this is how you want to this is how you want to spend it I wouldn't say it's a bad $200 because if you want to get into dabbing in general and stray away from, from obviously the handheld devices, the cheaper devices, nothing, nothing wrong with those. But if you just want to change your consumption and you want to maybe get a rig before you even get an e-rig, no matter what the startup cost is going to be quite high. Uh, you need the rig itself. Some rigs, depending on where you buy it from, will come with a banger. Then you need the carb cap. You need the dab tool and you need the torch. Now, I'm not sure where you plan on buying all this stuff, but if you want like one of the best torches on the market, we're talking $60, $70. If you want one of the cheaper ones, 20, we're still in the 20, 30 range bangers, one of the 20, 30 range rigs. Ooh, depending on where you go. I mean, we could be in the 40 to hundreds of dollars range there. So um, for 200 bucks to have the complete setup, you obviously don't need a torch, anything like that, and good to go right out the box. I don't think this is a bad option. And I'm literally using this every day. The app makes it so much more functional. For 200 US dollars, this is still cheaper than the original Puffco Peak, which was not Bluetooth compatible at all. So it gives you the extra option to be Bluetooth compatible and kind of customize your session to its limitations, but really solid. There's over 30 different temperatures you can choose from and to have your dab from, be from 25 seconds to up to two minutes i mean that's a no-brainer for me the focus v carta has changed the way i consume concentrates i've con i'm consuming way more concentrates now not in amount but just like when i go stop at the dispensary i'm not just thinking oh let me grab this flower i'm usually like let me grab a flower and a concentrate or i'm thinking right to the concentrate first uh it's a great way to medicate I have three different consistencies with me and I figure we'll dab a little bit since we've talked quite a bit about quite a bit about the unit uh sorry for anyone who has to sit here and listen to my rambling I try to be as informational as possible if there's any questions you guys have please leave them down in the comments I have no problem talking to you guys I'm a I'm a small content creator I don't mind answering any questions you guys might have I'm trying to give the best options for the best price point and at 200 USD I mean, you can't really go, you can't really go wrong with this thing. I don't think uh, it's a kicker, and you guys are about to see right now. I have some Sweeties Live Wax, which looks a lot more like a sugar, right here from my uh, Insa. So I'm gonna take a couple pieces of that, and we'll get a little dab going. Now, usually for a dab like this. For me, I mean, you really don't need much 
I'll go ahead and pop that in there. I might throw a little bit, a little bit extra. And this is how I usually sesh. I'll go ahead and throw the cap back on there and get her ready. Always double check the app first because if I'm able to connect, that means my unit hasn't turned off yet. This does, another fact, this does turn off after a while. The uh, the original peak did not turn off. This was, this was a direct competition to the original peak This in the same way that the two, I hope you guys are uh, in the loop and are looking out for that because the two, they aim, they aim for that to be better than the peak as well. Uh, than the Peak Pro. So they shot this to be better than the original Peak and they're going to shoot the two to be better than the Peak Pro. So interesting stuff over there from the guys over at Focus V. All right, I'll connect here. I have my preset two and that's going to be a 554 for uh, a minute and 30 mainly because I let it heat up a while. Even after it says it's ready to go, I'll just let it heat up. And we have started up. And the lights are going. And once it's green, I'm in the clear. Cheers. And I set my sessions this long. As, as y'all can see, this thing is ripping. We're coming up on the end of the dab here. I'm at about 15 seconds left in the session. And I set mine usually that long just to make sure I've gotten rid of most of that dab. And as you can see, I've gone up in my dab counter from 48 to 49. Always take one of these little mops here get in there and the pearl is obviously in there so you want to try and uh get in there real good because that pearl is like an all white ceramic so if it's not all white and you're taking it out of there you know that you haven't cleaned up too good <laughs> Oof, but that first hit sent me up And yeah, I tend to session on this. I'll take, if I'm just dabbing, I'll take maybe three dabs that are just like that and I'm good. But if I'm hitting some flour, I'll maybe take one, two if I'm feeling froggy and I feel super, super good. It'll stay connected as long as your, uh, your rig is on, unless you're having connection issues, which the app does have, that is a con, unfortunately. But like I said, for 200 US dollars, I mean, you're getting a smart rig that you're able to customize a good chunk of your session and utilize your oil to the best of its ability. I mean, I can't, I can't complain. I absolutely love this unit. <clears throat> it's something that I use every day. Super grateful for it. And uh, I'm going to continue to use it every day. I'm going to continue to uh, maybe see if I can get more upgrades for it. There's so many things that you can add this bad boy but i feel like i'm talking your ears off let's sesh a little bit this is some uh some jack's bananas cured butter from the guys over at uh pen health group that stuff looks so good 
and yeah it takes on all sorts of different consistencies as you guys can see that was more sugary so i was able to just kind of toss it in without it being a problem this consistency is not something that i can just flick onto the uh, onto the atomizer but you can also have it sit in there and since this is a more liquidy consistency i dab this a little lower i'll go to my first preset i'm at about 536 for the same amount of time and since that consistency is more runny i'll just let the bucket get nice and hot and melt the dab off of there for me Boom. cheers <coughs> I mean, <coughs> if you can get it on sale, if you can find it for anything less than 200, this is a no brainer. Seriously. Especially if you can add the upgrades to it. So if I had to price everything out, <clears throat> this is an extra 15 bucks. <sighs> sure that's cleared. The batteries, 18350s, these are a bit on the more expensive side, which is weird because they're not super powerful batteries, but we're talking about 20 bucks. Amazon will get you. A uh, set of 18350s <clears throat> for your unit to work in case you ever damage your atomizer, anything of that nature. A spare Addy. <clears throat> I made sure I had one just in case. But uh, 45. <coughs> 45's the ball, the bubble cap was uh, 30 bucks, and it also came with the magnetic hinge. Which I don't use just because the tether just makes everything easier for me. Tur Pro, a couple bucks. Uh, extra buckets, under 20 bucks. But just get yourself anything you want to, uh, to make the device work better for you. <coughs> <coughs> Those dabs are just going to start getting to me. Before I keep rambling on, thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is the uh, Focus V Carter product review. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. <laughs> I'll take another dab before we go. I bought out three containers. Might as well take three dabs. I really hope that you guys are getting lit with me. If not, I'm just out here looking goofy by myself. I really want me looking goofy by myself. It's not a good look. This is uh, some banana OG from Moxie. <clears throat> cap says live resin but this is a ultra high potency shatter i'm not sure why the cap says live resin what i bought was ultra high potency shatter but yes obviously shatter is very hard to deal with at times and this stuff uh testing in in the uh 98 thc department since the uh Hence the uh, ultra high potency name of it. But yeah, this this would be a kicker. <sighs> Finish it. That's all I could think in my head, but finishing it. And as y'all can see, it's holding up just fine. The units, I can touch the Addy right now after the dabs I've taken. And for size comparison, 
this unit is very small. So like, here's a, my solo cup I would drink out of. I would say that the cup is wider than the unit, minus maybe a little bit of the Addy sticking out and it's a little bit taller, but like, I'm talking about the size of a, a drinking cup. It's way smaller than people would imagine if you don't own an E-Rig. Uh, it's definitely not like a giant thing. Neither is the Peak or most other E-Rigs that I've held in my hands. My X-Vape Vista Mini 2 is super tiny. And since this is shattered and it's like super hard and basically tasteless <clears throat> because it's so high in THC, I'm going to dab this at a little bit of a hot boy dab for you guys. <clears throat> That's set a little lower. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got to get myself ready for this. <sighs> yeah, I'm setting myself up. <laughs> the aftermath for this is going to be hilarious. <coughs> <coughs> Vapor production, incredible, like crazy. If you're wondering the temp I dabbed that shatter, <clears throat> that was 608 degrees. <coughs> <coughs> and that's gonna close it out. Excuse my notification. But uh, once again, thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. If you can afford it, definitely get yourself a uh, Focus B Carta. Take it easy till next time. Wrap that reviews. <coughs> 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 <coughs>